Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add special effect for your photo to look like a fantasy poster. So here we go. To start, I'm going to add some adjustment curve layer and increase the contrast of the photo. Now, I'm not too crazy about the background because it's showing too much of the sky. So I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to stamp out the sky. Do this by holding down the alt button and click on an area where there are leaves and then ping over the sky area until all the skies are covered. Now the shirt is too bright so I'm gonna change it to a darker green color. Since the shirt has very similar value, I can use the magic wand tool to select the shirt. But don't worry about making the selection perfect yet, we'll edit it later. With the selection still active, open a new curve adjustment layer and start playing around with the curves and channel until you get the desired color. Next to the adjustment layer, you'll see a black and white icon. This is the mask layer. It tells the layer which area to affect and we can click on it to adjust it. Earlier when we had the shirt selected, this area is represented in white. So wherever there's white, it will sh uh, be affected by the curve layer. So with that activated, uh, start filling in all the gaps that the magic wand missed earlier or if it selected too much you can paint it out by using black and when you're done make sure you click back at the regular icon the layer icon I also want to change the, his pants to a darker green shade but this time I'm going to use the pen tool the pen tool is more accurate but it takes more work and usually it's required if um, there's too much shades like the pants after you close the path, you can control click on the path layer and activate the selection. Now open it up a new adjustment layer and change the pants to green like you did with a shirt. Now it's time to mask out the entire body so we can adjust the background separately. Um, duplicate the background layer and click on the add mask icon on the bottom of the layer panel while the body selection is still active. I'm going to call this layer the character layer and the one below the background layer. You should look over the mask to see if you're missing any parts of the body so that you can paint it in to, um, so that uh, just in case. To do that, I reverse the color so that I can see if any of the parts that I need to, that I should have been in the selection, is not. Now I'm going to add an adjustment layer, adjustment curve layer below the character layer, so I'm only affecting the background layer. Um, use the curve adjustment layer to make this uh, the background layer darker and greener. I'm going to just readjust the pants and the shirt color to darker so that it fits the darker background better. Now it's time to create a blue cast light that's coming from the bottom left. Create a new adjustment layer on the very top of everything and turn and use this layer to turn everything into bright blue now we're going to click on the mask layer and paint out everything except the area that's affected by the cast light you can it'll probably be easier if you reverse the mask and paint in what should be there
Now I'll do the same for the bright highlight that's coming from the sun from straight above. I'm going to go back to some of the adjustment layers that I worked on earlier to tweak the setting to see if I can get anything better. So just go ahead and go back and start playing around with all your adjustment layer to see if you can get something closer to what you want that you might have not have gotten earlier.